Welcome to Perry's Tabletop Models. My name is Devin, and today we're going to be going over one of the systems mods traits. These are basically abilities that you can customize your unit or play however you want to play. This one, what we're going to be going over is system impact thrusters. So we're going to be, this is the red guy here, this is the NVX 06 Nikozu. This is just a stock alto. So basically what a system is, physical part on your unit that gives you an ability, so like a thruster or rockets or something like that. But this one, in order to use this system, you need thrusters. As long as your unit has thrusters, you have the ability to use this. Whether or not you want to, totally up to you, but it's there if you want it. During your movement phase, you're going to have two options of movement. One is your standard movement, and your second is your thruster movement. Thruster movement is basically twice as many as your standard movement, but you forfeit all of your combat phases after that. Impact thruster gives you an ability to attack anyone within the travel path of your thruster movement. So thruster movements are always in a straight line. So our NVX here, he has a thruster movement of four. So one, two, three, four, that leads him right into the building, straight shot. So basically what this trait does, it allows your unit to use their thrusters to fly in a straight line, do an attack on the enemy, and depending on whether or not you're successful with your attack rolls or they're successful with their evade rolls, depends on what happens after that. What you're going to do is you're going to declare that this unit is going to use the thruster impact on this unit. You have to make sure that you have um, the correct spacing. So this one, thruster movement is four. So we have one, two, three, four. So this building, uh, the hex that this building occupies is the fourth one. What you're gonna do is you're going to take your D8 and you're going to roll for assault. Um, and basically on your data sheet, it, this will give you a number. So let's say that this guy needed a five or higher um, on his assault roll to pass. Well, I roll a seven, so that means I'm good. So now this gives this unit an opportunity to evade that incoming attack. So that that unit or that player needs to roll as well. So they'll roll, and let's say they needed like a five or higher, or like a six or a seven, and they get like a two. So it means they failed it. So what's gonna happen is that this unit is going to move over here, right? And it's going to attack the enemy and push them back into um, the hex behind them. So in this case, there's a building. So what would happen is this unit gets pushed back into the building and it'll get a status effect for the building. And depending on how much damage, or excuse me, how much um, uh, defense this building has, uh, depends on if it stays if it stays intact or if it gets destroyed. Uh, if it's intact, then the unit will get the status effect stuck, which just means they're stuck in the building. If the building gets destroyed, then the, um, the unit that was attacked gets not only damage from getting hit with the thruster, but if you have a melee weapon equipped, which this one does, it's a gun blade, does kind of a both. The unit that was attacked gets damage from the thruster impact. It also takes damage if there's a melee weapon in your hand, which there is on this one, and with the building, if the building falls, and they'll take damage from the building as well. So if you can line up your shots with the thruster impact, you can do a lot of damage. The main idea is not to do damage, it's to displace the enemy. So if we just do a little reset, we roll, and I pass my assault roll. Now the enemy player has a chance evade so if they roll if they pass their evasion this means that when the unit makes its way over here the defending unit has an opportunity to move to one side of its field of view so the left side or the right side the end goal is your unit has to still be facing this hex so if you're over here you can't jump over this way and have your unit facing this way he has to be facing the unit that's attacking so let's say he moves over here so I still need to go here, so that's three, because we were here. We have one, two, three, four. So four puts me into the building. So again, depending on if 
there's enough defense points in the structure the structure is still standing my unit gets stuck uh, if it's destroyed then my unit will take damage from the destroyed building and also get a status effect for that as well there's a little bit of strategy here you can't just go ahead and just do it and nothing nothing happens if you mess up start that over one more time so let's say this time there is no building behind the unit right so let's say i do my roll i pass my assault roll he does his roll he fails his evasion which means that he gets hit so i would come over here and i were to push this unit so it's one two three four so i would push him one hex back and i would be here so basically he was here and you pushed him back so it goes the full distance so in this case it's four hexes so he'll go all the way to where my unit is plus one back and then he'll take damage from the push and damage if i have a melee weapon in my hand this is a really good way to displace the enemy if they're on an objective you don't want them there anymore uh, you can just push them out of the way but let's go back here reset one more time again i roll i pass my assault roll this one rolls for evasion they pass their evasion so again they get an opportunity to move to the two hexes in their field of view so the left one or the right one he moves over here still has to face this hex so my guy ends up moving to the fourth hex right and so basically what i've done in this situation if my guy will cooperate is that i have essentially given my back to the enemy so not necessarily that this is a bad thing but since i can't use any attacks after my thruster movement i've basically just again put my back towards the enemy and they can pretty much do whatever they want to me at this point there's also one more option with this is to let's say uh, to, to use this i have to spend a certain amount of ap so to use the thruster impact i need to spend two or four action points to do this so i spend my two four however many points and then i roll for my assault oh too bad instead of a five or higher i got a two which means nothing happens uh, so i don't get to attack so that means i just spent i just wasted my points uh, and i can either try again or i can do nothing so it's really one of those if your unit is built specifically for this so if they're really high on assault which is basically melee weapons um, then maybe this is an option that you would want um, well, if not then i definitely wouldn't take it so that was the thruster impact you guys in the battlefield.